Hari Om, I am Vismay. Ekadashi is the day when people fast and spend the day praying to God. This helps both physical and mental health. In the northern parts of India, there is a practice of organizing Ramakatha Kalakshepa on Ekadashi. Many stories about Sri Rama are exchanged in these Katha Kalakshepas. I am going to tell you one such story. In a village, there lives a boy named Shankar. He was very simple and innocent and had no bad habits. He did not know how to do any work, but he was very good at eating. His parents decided that they couldn't feed him any longer. They tell Shankar to go out, find a job and feed himself. Shankar finds a village and he goes there. He finds an ashram and requests the Guruji to allow him to stay there. The Guruji lets him stay. Very soon, the Guruji realizes that Shankar is a huge glutton, but they still decide to keep him as he is very simple and innocent. When the next day Kadashi comes, Guruji orders everyone in the ashram to fast and pray to Lord Rama. But Shankar comes crying to Guruji and says, Guruji, I can't stay without eating. Would you please give me some food? Guruji shows pity on Shankar and gives him some groceries. He tells Shankar to go to the bank of river Ganga and cook there and eat. But Guruji puts one condition. Shankar has to offer the food to Sri Rama and then only start eating. Shankar feels very happy. He goes near the banks of river Ganga and cooks the food and calls Rama. Rama, come eat your food. It's going to become cold. Rama is very impressed with Shankar's belief and innocence. He arrives in front of Shankar with Sita. Shankar had only expected Rama, but however serves the food to Rama and Sita. They eat the food and go. Shankar is forced to go without eating on that Ekadashi. On the next Ekadashi, Shankar asks Guruji for more groceries for three people. He goes to the banks of river Ganga, cooks and invites Rama. This time, Rama comes with Sita and Lakshmana. Shankar gets a bit annoyed. He asks Rama who this other man was. Rama smiles and says, This is my dear brother Lakshmana. Shankar gives them the food. They all eat and leave. Shankar is again forced to starve on this Ekadashi. On the coming Ekadashi, to be on the safe side, Shankar cooks food for five people. He goes and invites Rama. This time, Rama comes with Sita, Lakshmana, Bharata and Shatrugna. This time, Shankar totally loses his temper. He shouts at Rama. Rama, what is this? Don't you have any modesty? You bring more and more guests without even informing me. Rama smiles and says, Shankar, Bharata and Shatrugna are also my dear brothers. You cook so nicely. I just wanted them to taste your delicious food. Shankar gives them the food, they eat and leave. As usual, Shankar was forced to go without food on that Ekadashi also. For the upcoming Ekadashi, Shankar asks the Guruji for a lot of groceries as the guests are more. The Guruji strongly suspects Shankar. He thinks he is selling the groceries and making money. The Guruji decides to follow Shankar. Shankar carries all the groceries and puts them down under a tree. He lazily sits there idle. The Guruji starts thinking, why is Shankar just sitting there like that? At the time of lunch, Rama arrives with Sita, Lakshmana, Bharata and Shatrugna. He also brings Hanumanta and Jambavanta. Now Shankar is furious. He scolds Rama. Rama, if you are bringing so many guests, you only cook and eat. Rama smiles and asks Bharata to take care of cooking. Guruji, who was watching all of this, could not see any Rama Sita there. He gets very angry at Shankar and starts blasting him. Shankar, you are a thief. You are not even cooking and I don't see any of your guests here. Now, Shankar feels very sad because he is being called as a thief. Shankar threatens Rama. Rama, please show yourself to my Guruji. Or else I am not going to let you eat the food. Rama smiles at his openness and simplicity. He decides to show himself to the Guruji. The Guruji now has tears of joy. He falls to Rama's feet 
and asks for forgiveness. He praises Rama and says, A guru always helps his shishya to see the God. But here, my shishya has helped me to see the God. I am really honored. Rama and others bless everybody and return. Guruji decides to keep Shankar in the ashram forever. From that day onwards, Shankar never missed an Ekadashi fasting. With sincere and simple devotion, we can be closer to God. Hari Om.